Hey, what's up guys? It's Phil and here's a little story. So, you're working on a project but you have a really limited amount of time and it's a sci-fi project and you need a laser gun but you don't have time to model one yourself. So if you need to get one done quickly, you can come up and grab a cheap water pistol. But now this was about a dollar just from the supermarket and your Einscan Pro Plus 3D scanner. Uh, another couple of things that are helpful is a little bit of this Play-Doh. I've got it in a couple of different colors. It'll help you to stand up your water gun. Uh, have it at different angles while you're scanning to make sure you can get the whole thing. And another useful thing is some of this dry shampoo that I actually got from the dollar store. Uh, you'll notice the gun is plastic, so it's got a lot of shiny areas that the scanner has a little bit of trouble picking up. So what I'm going to do, get the cap off of this, I'm going to take some of those shiny areas. Now I know with this one, some particular spots that were difficult from my tests are the back of here, the underside of the pistol or the handle, and a little bit around the tip. So I'm just going to give this a little spray like all over and all this does is add like a very fine powder and just gives it a little bit of flatness makes it a little more matte and it takes a few seconds for the I guess there's alcohol in there to evaporate but then you get a nice kind of frosted appearance to it which I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera or not but it is a little bit whiter than uh, than it was originally. And they do sell actual spray that's intended for this exact purpose. But you know, this was just last minute in a pinch. I grabbed this from a dollar store and it works just fine. Uh, the only thing is you have to be very careful where you touch it because it comes off very easily. You can see there maybe just from touching with my finger it comes off. But that's a good thing because if you're scanning something that you don't want to mess up, you can easily just wipe this off with a wet paper towel or in this case I can just run it under the water in the sink. Yeah, so I'll just give it a good spritz all around. And then we'll go with our scanner and see what we can do with it. Okay, here we got the Einscan Pro Plus all set up on a tripod. I'm actually using my own tripod because the one that comes with it is a tabletop and my table is too small uh, for the tripod as well as the turntable I'm using. And here is the turntable itself. We're going to very carefully place the laser blaster on here being very careful not to shoot anybody doesn't really matter what direction it's facing just don't point at anyone it might be dangerous and on the computer side of things we've got our software set up here I, I let you choose Einscan Pro or Pro Plus of course I picked Pro Plus I'll click next and we have some options here for fixed scan which we're going to be using on a tripod or handheld HD scan uh, and then handheld rapid scan which will let you go a lot faster but is not quite as accurate so uh, I've already got this selected let's hit next and this will take a few seconds Hey, we're going to start a new project. And in this case, I found that the there is a window that pops up, but for some reason it pops up behind the program, so I always have to alt tab to get to it. And so I've already got a project set up here. I'm just going to overwrite that one. And now it's asking if I want a non-textured or a textured. Let's go with textured this time. And we'll click apply. And now we can see a small window up here showing uh, what the scanner sees. on That's the gun on the turntable. 
Uh, I'm going to adjust it a little bit. There we go. And now we have uh, the brightness setting here is pretty important. It's hard, a little hard to see here, but there's a cross right in the middle, and you want to make sure the cross is visible. And the brightness or the red areas here show where it's getting blown out, and you want to have as few of those as possible. So having a little bit is fine. So we can see a tiny bit in there, and that should be a good level right now. Uh, so now we can also set how many uh, steps the turntable will turn around between 2 and 180. Uh, of course we have to turn the turntable on. And I'm going to set it to feature uh, because the coded targets is these little markings that are on the turntable. And those are really good to help get extra detail, but you can't cover any of them up. So obviously the gun is covering them, so we can't use that option. So I'm just going to use the feature version, and we'll just click Start Scan. And it starts very quickly, getting a little bit of data. And it does say verifying across here, and so you'll see it'll do a few short scans, and they'll look a little bit blurry, but then they'll correct themselves and it'll continue scanning the whole thing assuming the verification goes through and there we go so the verification worked and we can see along the edges here it is getting those silver markers and it's getting the edges of my table so we're, ha we're gonna have to clean those up uh, which is very easy So like I said, we can set the number of steps, and the default is 8. And 8 seems to work pretty well in most cases. I've tried going higher and lower. And for something uh, smooth and simple like this, it seemed to work just fine. Don't worry, I'm going to edit out some of the more boring parts of this scanning process. I know it's not very fun to watch. Okay, so that is finished with the first uh, scan. So we need to get rid of all this other stuff, so we'll just hit shift and drag around it. Or I should say hold shift and drag around it. And just gonna get everything that we can. And then we can rotate around just by dragging with the left mouse button. And we'll get some more. And then we can use the mouse wheel to zoom in a little bit, just to get a little more precise. Okay, and here's one more marker. And this looks like the last marker here. Okay, and then we can just click this icon with the trash can on it. And then got rid of everything. Oh, there's still one more piece of marker here. Get rid of that. Click the trash can icon. Okay, looks good. And as you can see, it says click here. And so now we're ready to continue scanning. Okay, it looks good. So now this is where our Play Doh comes in handy. I'm going to take some of this and shape it so I can raise this gun up a little bit. This way, so we get a different angle. There we go. And now we'll click Continue Scan. Now when you're adjusting it for a different angle, you don't want to make the angle too different. Because it will need to figure out how to connect these two scans together. So now we can see our Play-Doh there, along with the rest of the gun. And again, we're verifying. 
and as you can see yeah each time it rotates around it gets a little bit more of the gun scanned and really did, really did a nice job in the tip of the gun here I had trouble with that in my tests so I guess it's good that I sprayed some of that extra shampoo on there and when you're picking up your uh, play-doh which I got from the dollar store along with the uh, dry shampoo uh, I recommend pick up, picking up a couple of different colors uh, that way it's really easy to see uh, when you're trying to delete some of the extra stuff here. Uh, for example, the other Play-Doh color that I have is orange, so that would be a lot more difficult to delete that from here and be able to see the difference between the Play-Doh and the gun. So again, let's uh, select all this stuff holding Shift. And I'm going to try to get as much Play-Doh as I can. It's really, it's okay if you cut away a little bit of the gun because it's going to get that area with one of the next scans. Okay, let's zoom out so we can get some more. I'm using, you can use the middle mouse to pan around, or you can use both left and right at the same time. I actually find that's a little bit easier for me. Okay, rotate around, get the other side. Oops, I missed a spot. There we go. Okay. Last couple little bits. And the trash can. And hold on, let's see. Oh, there's one more. A little bit of something that doesn't look like it belongs there. It's a little bit of Play Doh in there. Let's get that. Okay, that looks good. Click the check box, check button, and you can see it combines the two scans together. So now we've got a lot more of the gun finished. So now I'm gonna adjust it a little bit more. Kind of press it into the Play-Doh make sure it sticks and stays in position as it's rotating around. And we'll do another scan. Of course you don't have to use Play-Doh, you could use any other type of putty. Uh, but I do like the Play-Doh because it comes in the different colors, as I said, and it makes it easier to see what you're doing when you're deleting it. Hey, this looks like it's really getting a good chunk of the gun in there. Looks like some of the orange is getting on the Play-Doh. I don't know how that's happening. Oh, okay. So it fixed it up. Maybe I was just seeing through it. So again, let's uh, get rid of all this extra junk. Rotate around some more. Get the majority of this. Let's zoom in, get some of these little bits. Okay, and finish it off. And that should do it. And that should be the majority of our gun. We still just have to get most of this other side. So let's switch the Play-Doh to the other side. Squish 
push it in there. Okay, that should do it. I'm going to move it over a little bit. There we go. And we'll do one more scan. Oh, so you can really see how really fast this is uh, compared to photogrammetry uh, which wouldn't even be able to handle most of these smooth areas. Uh, photogrammetry, I mean, I don't think I would even be done taking the pictures by now and that I'd still have to wait you know, several hours, I think, for all the processing to finish. And here we are, we're almost finished with our full scan. Okay. And it is one thing if you're using uh, the uh, turntable coded targets option is that you don't get all of this extra stuff so if you can use that I would because it's a lot faster you don't have to worry about deleting all this stuff all the time Oops. that's easier okay let's get that a little bit more here, and don't forget the Play-Doh. There we go. I think that's all. Yep, that looks pretty good. Let's see, there's a couple of weird spots out here. Make sure we get those. Okay, click here. And let's have a look around. Yep, looks like we just need to get a little bit of the top and maybe a little bit of that back. Now let's see if I can angle it and get some more of the top in there. Maybe if I can just mush this into the Play-Doh down here somehow. See if that'll stay up. Oh, nope. <laughs> Alright, let's ball this up a little bit more. Try to mush it that way. That should work. I hope. <laughs> okay, I'll continue scanning. And again, if you do see some areas that you're hitting the same spot and it's just not picking them up, you can try to adjust the brightness over here. Uh, when you do your next scan and it, that might help pick it up because I do see there are a lot of red areas showing up in here this is looking a little bit messy I wonder if the model moved while it was rotating around so we'll see what happens when it finishes let's take a closer look um, nope, it actually looks pretty good. Sometimes it looks a little messy while it's scanning, but then when it finishes, it kind of corrects itself. Okay, so let's get rid of this junk. that Play-Doh first so we don't forget it. I'm going to get in there and make sure I got all the green so I don't want any green showing up on my scan. There we go. Let's just make sure 
sure we got it all. Oh, there's some more Play-Doh on this side. So you really got to rotate all around and make sure you're getting everything. Okay, that looks good. See how this looks. I do see a weird little thing over here. Can delete that. Okay, yeah, we're still having a little bit of trouble up here. So let's. I may have to spray that a little bit more. Maybe just try it at a side angle. Maybe that'll work a little bit better. And yeah, I'm gonna try and turn this brightness down just a little bit and see what happens. If it's too dark, then it won't verify correctly, so we'll see. Looks like it's getting a little bit more of it. Get rid of all the junk. Including the Play-Doh. Okay, looks good. Click here. Okay, so it's still having a little bit of trouble, so I'm going to get some more of that spray and put it on there, that area, and see if that helps at all. But otherwise, the rest of the gun looks pretty good. Okay, so I'll pause this recording while I put some more spray on there, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I've got a little more frostiness on there. Place that on there, and hopefully this time we'll do a little better. Let's click the scan button. I should have started it facing the directly towards the scanner so we can see if it's working right away. But it does look better. Unfortunately, some of that white frostiness does come up in the texture. But, you know, hopefully that's not an issue for you and you can, you know, clean that up in some 3D painting software. Yeah, so that is looking much better. We can rotate it around while it's scanning, but then as soon as it finishes the next one, it tends to jump back to another position. Okay, that's good. Let's get rid of this stuff and see how f close we are to being finished. Okay. Good. I don't think I see any green. Okay, click here. And there we go. There's still a tiny spot in there, but it might be able to fill that in automatically when we finish. 
That looks pretty good. I'm going to see how this turns out when we create a mesh because right now it is just a point cloud. If you zoom in you can see all the individual points. Okay, so let's make a mesh out of it and see what's going on. Now you have the option of watertight model where it'll fill in all of the gaps or non-watertight which might be a little bit more accurate if you don't want it to change anything. Now if you're going for something that needs to be super accurate and measured perfectly uh, but I'm gonna go with watertight and we'll go with medium detail because this is pretty smooth so it doesn't need too much and I'll just take a moment okay so it is all done here we just get this window with a couple of options uh, you can smooth it or sharpen it I'm gonna pick sharpen just so we get those nice crisp edges and you can simplify it if you want but for now I'm just gonna leave it click apply and here we can rotate around there's our model with no textures I think it did a pretty good job you can see where the back is not 100 percent perfect right here but it looks pretty good could easily adjust that with some sculpting software like 3d coat if you want but yeah that looks pretty good I see this hole for the water plug is not perfectly uh, sharp but again that could be quickly adjusted with some sculpting software we got the little nozzle where the water squirts out and you can even see the seam where the two plastic parts were melded together you can easily smooth that out with some kind of a smoothing tool in a sculpting program just about done making the texture and there we go there's our finished model looking pretty good see a couple little spots here with the color probably due to the specularity the shininess but yeah that would be pretty easy to paint out and it's a little bit rough but overall pretty smooth and again you could easily go over the, some of these areas with a, some kind of a smoothing brush in a sculpting program and it looks pretty good this is actually a better scan than one of my earlier tests I think where I didn't get a lot of detail inside here but yeah this looks just about perfect okay so when you're happy with it we'll just click the save your scan button over here and again the window pops up underneath of the main window for some reason so I'll have to alt tab to it and here we've got all of our files that were created and so we can just give it a file name uh, Call it scan water gun and save. And you can scale it if you want. Uh, I'll just keep the scale at the original size. And then we're done. You're ready to open that in some other program and get on with your awesome sci fi project. Now, of course, I would not recommend using this for any kind of a paid project due to copyright. I'm sure whoever designs this gun has a copyright on it. All right, so let's just take a quick look at how this is going to look in 3D Coat and what we can do with it to clean it up just a little bit. So here's uh, 3D Coat. I'm going to pick Surface Sculpting and I'll open a blank scene and let's turn on our main grid here 
and I'm going to scroll all the way down the tools to import and on the tool options here I'll scroll down and I'm going to make sure import without voxelization is on uh, that'll help to keep the textures if you turn that off you won't be able to see the textures so I'll select mesh and here I have my water gun OBJ open and it is off to the side there so I'm gonna have to adjust I'll move my gizmo so I'm gonna scroll up to the top move only gizmo and let's position that around the middle of the water gun okay so let's get this adjusted I'm going to turn off move only gizmo so I can move the actual model around. All right, so let's look at it from the top view again. Okay. Let's rotate that so it's facing correctly. That should be good. Okay, so let's uh, get it centered. There we go. And so we're all set. So let's click apply. And we'll say yes to this one. And then just pick some other tool like smooth. And let's take a look. Turn the grid off. And that looks pretty good. Uh, we do have some of these little specular highlights in there, but we can pretty quickly get rid of those I'll show you and yeah we do have a little bit of roughness around here so I've already got the smooth tool selected so let's just check that out just draw over that and yeah it takes care of a lot of that roughness pretty easily let's look at it with no color look at relief only and you can see it really does a good job of getting rid of a lot of that roughness. So it would be pretty easy to get rid of all of this. Let's get our color back. We'll go to Smooth Shade. And look in the paint room. Uh, some of these specular areas. Now we'll get our brush selected and we can just hit the V key near one of the specular areas to get our color and then just paint over that. And yeah, that does a pretty good job covering it up. So as you can see, you could pretty easily get rid of all that small little issues. Could uh, get rid of this yellow, which is actually on the real model if I want. Press V. Paint that over. And when you're all set, you can come over to the render room and check out your model in all its glory and so that's it for our water gun scanning tutorial I hope you liked this if you like the Einscan Pro Plus uh, and you want to pick one of these up for yourself there's some Amazon affiliate links down in the description below if you'd like to see more videos like this these tutorials please subscribe uh, if you want to help out, I'm on Patreon, and you can donate a, a dollar a month, or just a dollar, or you know whatever you want. Please like this video. Uh, I really like to see those likes. They really help me out. And comments below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them, and I'll see you next time.